Hi guys, what's up? Alex here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Before we do get into this video, if you do enjoy this video and you want to support the channel, please do leave a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with Coventry City and Football League content, as well as my Football Manager series, Ground Hopping will be coming back very, very soon. So a lot of things happening on the channel. If you're not already subscribed, please do. It's massively appreciated. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers real soon. So yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the loan signing from Wolverhampton Wanderers, Ryan Giles. Now he previously was with us last season. He played one match in total for around about 10 minutes against Rotherham United at St Andrews. Now Ryan was originally a midfielder, however has recently played at left wing back. He's previously also played at loan at Shrewsbury Town and AFC Telford United. For Telford he made nine appearances scoring two goals in the National League North. He then went off to Shrewsbury Town just a year later. He played 19 games, scoring one goal. Now, the reason I could see why Robbins has brought him back is, well, a few reasons. First of all, he expected a little bit more from him last season. It's not Ryan's fault. It is the, the whole world and the state of what has happened, uh, not only in football, but just in general. Um, and leading up to, to March, we had some very important games. We played him against Rotherham at the end of February. He looked promising. And then we had Sunderland and Ipswich, two of the very important games uh, coming into the last two months. And I feel as if Ryan would have got a few more chances at least to play for the Sky Blues before it all kind of just ended, really. The, the season ended and we played AFC Wimbledon away on the 5th of May, which didn't actually happen, uh, which is quite upsetting. But bringing in Ryan Giles, my opinion on it, I think it's great. He obviously knows all the players, he knows all the staff. He knows the club quite well. Um, he's also from a Premier League side, Wolverhampton Wanderers. The reason they've sent him out on loan to Telford, Shrewsbury and Coventry and not gone, well, you know, he's, he's not really working out, um, is the fact that they see potential in him. Obviously, Wolves have a very experienced side. Um, I think they've got Johnny already at left back, uh, who's a brilliant Premier League starter. So, you know, you can't really expect him to do too much at the moment. You also have to remember as well that the Championship will have three sides coming down from the Premier League that will have quite strong sides, obviously. I'm expecting some of the better players that are Premier League quality and that do not want to be playing in the second tier probably leaving. But, I mean, other than that, you've you've got to look at the, the good sides that are going to come down. There's good teams in the playoffs at the moment, the likes of Nottingham Forest, Brentford, uh, Fulham, that could all still stay down. Uh, Preston North End as well, another good team that have just missed out on the playoffs this season. So he's obviously going to get a lot better experience in the championship against some tougher teams. And I can tell why Mark Robbins has brought him in. He's going to need a replacement for Sam McCallum. Obviously, Brandon Mason has not really played as much as he would have wanted to. Um, all the fans would have wanted him to as well. I mean, he started last season really, really well. And then it kind of, I don't know, just because of Sam McCallum and I think, to be fair, there was always that argument that Matt Mason was better than McCallum, but McCallum was getting the experience because of his age and this, that, and the other, and he needed experience to go play for Norwich in the Premier League. But bringing in Ryan Giles, is it going to be a Sam McCallum replacement or is it going to be some healthy competition for Brandon Mason? Only time will tell. But very, very excited about this one. Obviously... Another good signing for the Sky Blues. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.